In this work in progress video I'm going to show you one of the new features or interfaces to to the AIW editing which allows you to create center lines, fast lines, um, the pit lane and um, place pace notes about as well as um, set up grid positions, teleports, garage pits, um, you'll see it. So the first thing you want to do is append a track. In this case I've only got one track so it only appends one immediately you're going to see the, the difference here. You've got less nodes to worry about moving about. This is a, a fast line and it's got arrows on it to tell you which way it's heading. And you want to move this fast line about so that um, the cars follow this racing line through the corners so that they hit the apexes and they come out wide and um, just act like general racing cars. So um, you'd do that for the whole track. Go around, set it up as best you can you'll need to tweak it many times I no doubt. Um, once that done you want to show the pit lane and you can turn fast line off but it's still going to show you because the pit lane is always attached. Um, so you press control to add some nodes there and uh, just have it feeding in there. Da -da -da and you notice here um, when you first created it B2B has no idea where where your real pit lane is intended so you'll just need to move the start and end about to wherever you are planning on having yours. Um, then I'm just going to roughly add this and have it pulling out there so I'll just come down here add a few more nodes until it gets back on track um, and just pull these away from where I expect I'm going to have my pit positions along here. Um, <coughs> so I'll just flick around here and um, the next thing that we'd want to do um, is show the center line. I'll do that for display. You probably won't have to touch this. This is just where the, the center of your track is going to be. In Richard Burns Rally this is where your car spawns again so you want to keep that in the middle of your drive line and if you've got multiple roads you'll have the, an open-ended track which um, you'll append more tracks to and um, that'll be where you, you're supposed to race. Um, that's where all your pace notes get placed onto. Um, pace notes are a little bit easier to move about now. You can just grab this, there are no blue balls, um, and press delete as usual to get rid of them. Um, oops, let me just go back here. Um, and showing the corridors is the, the next thing you want to do. This is um, tells R-Factor and the Symbian games where the cars are allowed to drive. The green sections will be the track and the red sections will be non-track up until you hit a barrier. So if you had a wall along here you want to limit that uh, to where the wall is. I think R-Factor actually look, uses these values to determine when it's going to um, collide into anything and, and actually start performing more calculations. Um, that's just a guess though, I, I really haven't had uh, time to play around with it. Um, so you'd go around and you'd change all these corridors. Um, by default it um, is set up to be the track width, but in this case I've been tricky and used the track for part of the pit lane so you, you get a smooth entry. So for the pit lane sections you're going to need to move that so it's just using the, the track and of course widen these ones out. Uh, I made the compromise that you only get at the ones on the nodes and the ones in between are just interpolated and uh, you do that for your whole track. Um, then you would also do it for oops, for your pit lane. Pit lane has a similar concept you want to move these out so that they know that they can move out to this wall here but no further and um, same for this I'm not actually an expert on this but um, something like that should be good enough there is another AIW editor which allows you to modify absolutely every property there is um, and there seems that, like there's a lot of properties for altering speed and a lot of wet lines and things like that that you can add. Um, 
I'm not going into that much detail in BTB. I, I never really intended to go into this much detail. But, as it happens, here it is. Um, the other thing I'll show is positions. So we've got grid positions. Here I've got it set up for um, three columns and you can move these about so you can have first on the outside or the inside. Um, change the number of columns there. Um, if we move it back to three you see that it shortens the grid. If you add more teams, there you go, you get more on the, the back there. Um, so moving these just moves the whole grid. Um, same for teleport. Teleport I believe is where the cars jump to uh, if you skip the formation lap um, on a rolling start. Then there's garages. Oh, just going back to the grids, you can detach these and move these about as you wish. Um, and you can press Y if you want to rotate them. Hold down Y and, and click and drag the mouse. Um, garage positions, similar sort of concept, except they hug the pit lane. You can drag these about, flip them the other side, and you see the, the fronts of them um, move back and forth. And um, this is where your pit stops are going to be, uh, sorry, where your garage positions, where you drive out of for practice, and um, you know, I'll just go and move the, the back of this, if I just go over here, move the, the back of this around to this side, you'll see that those um, garages have now spread out a bit more, as you'd see in regular pits, and then um, you would do the pit stop positions themselves. Now the, the thing I do here is just flick between garage and pit and just make sure your pits are sort of lined up outside your garages and um, same with the, the end of this. This is going to be around here somewhere. Notice again that's um, all sitting with your, your pit lane there. Um, so you just flip between these two. Um, probably come in a bit closer to the last section and you just want to sit these outside, not too far away from your, your pit lane, but far enough that cars can pull in and out safely. And the last thing is the AUX positions. Um, the second one up here is um, where the safety car gets parked. Um, <coughs> you can sit them out here and again hold Y to rotate that till it's sitting the way you want. And the other one is um, you probably leave where it is, it's supposed to be at the front of your uh, grid. So you can see your, your grid sitting back here. That's your AUX car, and you can move that about if you, you wanted to as well. And um, that's about all there is. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.